Hello there, Mrs. Wolf. It's me, Jack. And I want to talk to you about transcendentalist beliefs that can be found in music. First, let me remind you that the key parts of transcendentalism, which are equality, individualism, self-reliance, integrity, and optimism. Two examples of transcendentalist writers would be Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau. Emerson wrote an essay called Self-Reliance, where he encouraged citizens to think for themselves and that it is okay to go against society and not conform. Thoreau wrote an essay called Civil Disobedience, where he encouraged citizens not to revolt against unfair government rules. He encouraged citizens to stand up and be courageous. I have chosen a song that I think reflects the beliefs of transcendentalism the song is called Imagine by John Lennon. Basically, the song encourages treating everyone equally in creating a world where everyone lives in peace. This is an example that encourages simplifying life the song encourages people to live in the moment and not worry about tomorrow. These lyrics support Thoreau's writing in civil disobedience when he said that government is best which governs not at all. The lyrics support a world where there are no separate countries and then there will be no need for government. This would support the transcendentalism belief that simplifies life and the importance of self-reliance. These lyrics support Emerson's writing in self-reliance when he said, I like the silent church before the service begins better than pre any preaching. This is an example that true religion may come from within and not from someone else preaching it to you. These lyrics also support the belief in self-reliance when Emerson wrote about free individual expression. We need to be individuals. Be yourself. No base imitator of another but your best self. The lyrics support the transcendentalism belief that we should reduce our dependence on property and things. The lyrics are an example of the transcendentalism belief that we should honor the goodness of humanity and respect all human beings. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. See you later.